Welcome back to another video, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we are touching base again on Fusionist, yes, Ace. We're gonna go through some price action because there is something massive about to happen on the charts, guys. So make sure you stick around to the end of the video. Thank you for joining me once again, guys. Guess what? We have hit 3,000 subscribers on my channel. So an absolute massive thank you to everyone watching this video and who is subscribed to my channel. Now, please subscribe and tick the notification bell. Leave a comment as well. What do you want to see next? But right now, we are on the 15-minute chart and we are seeing a potential breakdown and a retest of this lower level of support with Ace and Fusionist, which is going to be very important as to where the price could be heading next. We are gonna get to some technical analysis and check out these price action on the OKX exchange towards the end of this video. It looks like it might not even hold until I get to the end of the video, guys. So this is massive news. But first, if you were watching, of course, we need to speak about exactly what is Ace, known as Fusionist, guys. You can check my previous video right here but if we take a look right here, it is a blockchain game and game infrastructure layer. And we can see that they have had betas, various betas with their current or previous game and current game as it develops further. It looks quite good here. I did mention in my last video that we have nice pictures right here of it. You can see it once again. This is cool. There is a product there, but what is even bigger is endurance, which we're gonna touch on again today. Now, there are a few things that I want to note. You can see in their socials that a lot of things are happening with Fusionist or Ace. The price went absolutely insane. And in my opinion, this is quite a successful launch, of course. Now, this is not financial advice. Always do your financial research. Consult a financial advisor if that's what you want to do. But guys, Queen Market Cap, we have some good info on Ace Fusionist right now. Well, let's check it out. What is insane, ladies and gentlemen, is that we topped out in terms of volume right here at 1 billion over 1.2 billion we topped out at do you know how big that is and yes you can see on their socials binance launchpad had that staking with um a few pairs obviously bnb being one other exchanges have since joined the race now of course okx exchange is there it is amongst the highest when it comes to the volume being held on the OKX exchange, second to that of Binance. Of course, if you did want to join the OKX exchange and start trading on such a nice platform, of course, you can see my referral link below in my description. With that, guys, they are giving away a holiday and a mystery sports car right now, so you can use my link and sign up to the OKX exchange today. Jumping back onto CoinMarketCap, quite a massive launch. We can see that the market cap is currently sitting at a rank of 157 with 275 million right here. We have volume at 242 million. We can also check it right here as well. So guys, this is still massive. There is a lot of volume. It's still within Fusionist Ace. The question is, am I too late? Well, we're gonna go explore some price action towards the end of the video, so make sure you stick around. Jumping down. What has happened since we last checked out this project before it launched? Quite a good launch. We had OKX listing this. We had Binance having it with launch uh, pool. We had Binance listing it. We can see the many pairs here. Since then, what do we see? Ladies and gentlemen, we see other exchanges joining and listing this token. Well, that is all well and truly nice, but let's just cap on what exchanges are potentially listing this that I think are not too bad and quite bullish for Fusionist itself. We have Femex here, right? Femex are gonna be making some very big, big noise this, this season, no doubt about that. We have BitThumb, Korean Exchange, Bitsy also joining on board. Of course, we're gonna have things like CoinW, uh, BitGets on Mexic as well. So not too bad, BingX joining the race and the rest we've got, of course, decentralized um, uh, mechanisms as well, dApps. But before we jump onto some price analysis, guys, let's take a look at Binance Smart Chain Scan, BSC Scan, guys. What we can see evidently here, make sure you always get the correct contract address, guys. This is very important. You can find that kind of 
information on CoinMarketCap. Make sure you're always doing your due diligence, guys. The holders, 19th of December. I mean, it's been one day, guys. Holders have gone from 1,147 to a 68% increase to a total of now 3,601 holders of Fusionist, the ACE token. This is very bullish, and I thought I would bring that to you. Of course, that is the token, but what is Endurance, guys? Well, we can take a look at that right now. Endurance, Fusionist, Fusionist's mainnet, social and game-orientated infrastructure layer. So you must always understand that there is a difference between the native token being um, Ace or Fusionist to Endurance, its uh, mainnet, which is really going to be establishing the next big move in game fight in my personal opinion now of course markets are looking quite good uh, crypto bubbles here has some nice presence and uh, santa hats on some certain things bong pulling down this is fine near protocol up at massive 15 percent bitcoin seems to be retesting some crucial levels maybe some con consolidation on the way in my opinion but we're going to jump on right now to some price analysis with ace guys right now what are we seeing on the chart? I am charting on the 15 minute time frame. The reason for this guys, is it only listed yesterday it went live and we can see even on the hourly right now, we are still in this wedge. What does this mean? Jumping back onto the 15 minute, the reason I have this emoji here is it's like, wow, what's happening? In layman terms guys, the price is squeezing. What's happening is you have this trend line here. This is a bearish trend line. Each time the price has come up to this on launch, it is being rejected down. It is keeping the price below this trend line. And if I continue to extend it, if the price was to fall down, it could potentially continue to reject that. Now, how do you uh, flip this and come above this line? Well, that takes a lot of volume. Now, what do we see below? We see this level of support, which is forming this wedge, making this wedge pattern here. And we see the price touching and bouncing multiple times from this level. So let's analyze this. And we are going to jump into some technical uh, indicators as well. If we look at a roundabout launch price, I mean, if we did hit here on the OKX exchange, an all-time high of $16.18, which was up 38.37. Now, launches, guys, if you are getting in on launches and trading launches, it can be very, very risky, of course. So sometimes people will wait for the price to settle down before they rebuy in, and there are certain indicators that can potentially spot these pivotal points. Are we going to see a bust to the upside or are we gonna to break to the downside with this pattern? We are gonna take a look at some of the indicators right now. With the Ichimoku cloud guys, what this is doing is it's computing future levels of either support or resistance. Note, you will see this leading span A flipping and creating a red cloud on leading span B. Basically, this red cloud is potentially telling us that this area here in the future, should the price come back up to retest, this bearish trend line, as I mentioned, is going to act as potential resistance and could drive the price back down if we are to bounce from this level right here. And this is a trade that potentially I could be looking at if I can finish this video quick enough. We could be up around about 4% to the next bearish trend line here computing with that Ichimoku cow, telling us, well, if we do have enough volume at this point, right here, and we are to come back up and retest this bearish line, that's around about 4%. The question is, minus the Ichimoku cloud, what are some of the other indicators telling us? We have touched this level right here so many times as support. Will it be able to hold now? If so, we may see that retest. If not, we could be seeing a drop to the downside. That would be very, very scary. What other indicators are suggesting a potential move. If we bring out our RSI, we can see it is still quite neutral here at around about 35, plenty of room to move to the upside, no overbought, no oversold conditions. So that's really not relevant for analyzing this price so much. We do, however, have the moving average convergence divergence, as you'll see right here, crossing bearish right now. This could insinuate that we see a price pullback to the downside, if we break outside of this level, bottom of this wedge or this level of support here drawn with this white line, this could be very, very, very scary. As you can see here, it sort of correlates right here. As we touch this level of support, we shut up to this bearish trend line here. We had this bullish cross, yeah, this bullish cross here, and then we had this bearish cross here, coinciding with the price, as you can see, like this. So this is some of the things, or one of the things that is potentially telling us, well, guys, we 
could see a break to the downside. Ideally, if we are, I would be looking at around $11.70. There might be a quick wick off for that, but it is going to be very interesting as to whether or not we see this break to the downside. Guys, that is it for today's video. It is a quick recap of uh, what we can expect from Ace and Fusionist, its launch, the exchanges that are jumping on, the massive amount of trading volume that it hit upon launch, which is insane, guys. Okay, so leave a comment below. What do you think about Ace Fusionist? Are you holding, did you get in on this? Did you trade this? Let me know below. I'll see you in the next video.